and welcome back to Let's Play Tropico 3. And uh, we're taking right after I had handily won those last elections. And also, uh, before we get too far into this, um, apparently we have a request from our allies. The USSR um, is not pleased with the course of our international relations, and they demand that we issue the praise the USSR verdict until... Um, and they won't... because uh, I get money from their base because uh, they're renting out that base in my island, so therefore they're paying rent to me, El Presidente, and they say they refuse to pay rent until I praise the USSR. Fortunately, I have absolutely no trouble in praising the USSR, um, because the USSR is awesome. And uh, it cost me a grand total of $500, and there we go. Oops, there we go. So... Where where are we after uh, after we had just left off? Um, our island is in, in fantastic shape. Everything is, good morning, is doing comrades. good. Oh. This is TNT, the voice of Free Tropico. We have great news. Apparently, the great Russian bear wants to give us a big furry hug. El Presidente said in a special communique that, I quote, we wholeheartedly accept the smothering embrace of Mother Russia and believe in the everlasting comradeship between our great nations. Alright, so yeah, another pr uh, praise Russia and, and so on and so forth going on here. A new trend is spreading across the island. Mothers are naming their children after El Presidente. Yesterday, I saw a llama with El Presidente's name shaved on one side. Of course, Juanito is El Presidente's biggest fan. Of course, of course, and rightfully so. Uh, people should be naming their babies after me. Um, oh god, we got another Today assassination attempt. Today is a attempt. bad day for Tropico. An Blame the U.S. An act shook our island just a few hours ago as some traitorous coward has tried to assassinate our great leader. Among the suspects are virtually all foreign intelligence agencies. The presidential advisor, Penultimo, a toucan-worshipping environmentalist, and an old hermit who supposedly lives in a bird's nest and prays in the lotus pose. <laughs> okay. Anyway, um, so I've been reading a whole bunch of, of stuff that people said that I should do. Um, uh, one thing was I need more Teamsters, apparently. So uh, if I can remember wh where they are, probably in... Uh, here they are. In infrastructure. Um, I'll put them somewhere. I'm running out of space on my island. There we go. To ferry people around some more. Um, should also, I also want to, they also said uh, I need to put an electric substation. Something which I, I, I didn't do. Uh, I didn't know that uh, I could do this. But apparently increases the radius of my power plant. Which is really good to know. I did not know that. So thank you for the people who told me that one. And, um, one more thing. I want to create a hospital because uh, health care is on the top of my list. I believe that health care is an incredibly important part of any society and any society should have accessible and um, you know, basically accessible health care for all its citizens at all times. So, uh, with that, I don't think... <laughs> I, I guess we're just you know continuing to build uh, from where we left off. Um, I remember some guy commented that I, I'm just kind of randomly building stuff, and and that's pretty much true. I mean, I've got I'm I'm probably the worst artist in the world. Like I can't make anything look aesthetically pleasing at all. So I just kind of you know I'm, I'm not looking to to make the city look good. I'm just kind of building all over the place, and um, at the same time, you know. My, I had like a plan at the beginning to sort of 
uh, let's expand my my farm farming operations a little bit as well. Do some some sort of different uh, different uh, farms and whatnot. Uh, it's not like there's any really good. Oh, I guess there's some good banana places. And uh, lastly, I'll do a sugar farm. Apparently, people said that ranches help stop starvation, so I'll put a ranch here. This is kind of like the agricultural section of the island, right here. And sugar. That's the last thing I don't have. Is there even a good place for sugar? No, there's not. What about for coffee? There we go. There's plenty of good coffee coffee places on this island. Um, there we go. That's a random farms going down, trying to increase and, and diversify exports. And, um, you should just keep soldiering forth. She gives some time to, uh, build up some of the stuff that is, uh, desperately in need of, of construction. I've got lots of areas that do need construction around here. Oh, people said I. Oh! Ah! Uh huh. I got like a billion comments from people asking me to build an airport. And, and, you know, sure, why not? Oh, I should build a gourmet restaurant. Something like that. Um. Where is the, uh. Airport. There's the airport. Oh, so you can even find a place to put one. Oh, jeez. There we go. Uh, maybe there's a better place than, than here. There's got to be a better place. Hey, more Mayan runes. I should expand upwards Good towards them. Good morning, Tropico! While some morning, of our Juanito. comrades are busy fighting the injustice around the world, the rest of us are fortunate to be living on such a beautiful island. Take a minute and thank El Presidente for our happy life on these shores. I love Juanito. I guess like, this looks like the only place in the island where I can build an airport. So, there we go. Oh shit, that cost me like $70,000. Teamster's office has no workers. They should have workers. What is that? That's a newspaper. It's a high school. And, um... Now I just gotta sit back and let let things build up a little bit. Still, no one is living in my my beautiful mansion. What a bunch of jerks! Fine, fine. You know what? There you go. I'll set wages to ten for all all people. Yeah, I know national debt. Blah blah blah. blah. Tropico is spiraling into debt as the money in the national treasury has been depleted. If measures are not taken soon, the financial situation on the island may deteriorate rapidly. Oh, fortunately here comes a freighter. Right here, right now. Bam! Bam! $50,000 in goods. And I'm just going to hold on to that for now. Um, I'll also increase, increase wages around the island. Thanks, I know. People who have college education are falling behind. You know, I, I, although I don't have that many buildings that actually use college educated ed, eh, people who have college educations. Jesus Christ, I need to increase my wages for non-educated workers because everyone's getting education and getting better jobs <laughs> and no one wants to work the crappy uneducated jobs. So I'm um, steadily increasing wages there. And I've got lots of tourists coming in, so... I should probably build, maybe build some more motels, but like I said, 15 tourists. Come on, dude. I'll have enough to facilitate all these. And none of them are going to, like, the cool places that I have. They're all just kind of <coughs> milling about in their motels. Let's, uh... 
Fill the road all the way out. I don't know why I'm, I'm singing this in a jingle, but... Oh, shit. There we go. Up to these mine runes here. Um, here we go. Keep going forward. What can I do here? Can I do anything here? Apparently I can't. Starvation is killing my people, but I, I'm building so many new, you know, ranches and, and all the kind of fishing wharfs and all kinds of crazy stuff. There we go. Maybe I just have too many jobs.